During the period known as the Dust Bowl in the 1930s, the Great Plains of the United States were devastated by drought. Wind erosion loosened dry soil, resulting in huge dust storms. How did wind erosion result in such a devastating impact on the region's ecology and agriculture? Wind erosion is a natural process that detaches soil particles from one area of the land surface and transports it to another location where it is deposited. Air movement results in winds that are strong enough to transport particles of soil and sand. Wind erosion can move only small particles, so it is most prevalent in dry areas. In dry soils, there is less water to hold surface particles together. Deserts and drought areas are particularly affected by wind erosion. The impact can be especially severe when the soil is exposed by the removal of vegetation. Once set in motion, transported particles of sand and soil can worsen the effect of wind erosion. Deflation results from erosion of loose material, which can lower the land surface. Deflation results in a surface comprised only of coarse grain fragments, called desert pavement. There are different types of wind erosion, distinguished by the way particles move. In suspension, the wind moves fine particles through the atmosphere parallel to the surface and into the atmosphere. The particles fall to earth only when the wind subsides. Saltation occurs when small particles bounce along Earth's surface. The impact dislodges additional particles. With soil creep, larger soil and sand particles roll along the surface of the Earth's crust. Such wind erosion has resulted in a variety of landforms. As soil particles move, they abrade surfaces. Friction between the soil particles and land surface results in abrasion, wearing down the surface. The strange shaped sculptures we see in deserts are created by abrasion. The process of wind erosion involves detachment, transport, and deposition of soil particles. These particles are deposited when wind speed drops, resulting in sediment layers called aeolian deposits. A low S is an aeolian sediment that is formed by the accumulation of wind blown silt. Sand dunes are the best known type of aeolian depositional landforms. Dunes form when sand transported by wind accumulates, often around an obstacle such as a rock or tree. Although it is a natural process, wind erosion threatens agriculture around the world, particularly in dry regions. Dust storms diminish air quality and negatively impact health and the economy.